Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. It's been a long time since I've done a video, but I thought today I would try and pop out a quick one on how I make my jewelry. So, what I start with is just an aluminum tray. Uh, I think it only costs like a dollar and um, whatever store I picked it up in. And then I take press and seal uh, plastic wrap and then I will just do put down a layer. It holds nicely and it's easy cleanup. Um, not that you really use a lot of paint in this, but it's just nice to keep the tray clean itself. So I've got everything kind of ready. I've cleaned all my cabochons. Uh, they're a 25 millimeter cabochon and I've cleaned them all with isopropyl alcohol. And then to hold the glass, I use the poster sticky stuff, the uh, sticky adhesive, whatever it is. I really don't even know the proper term that you use to attach a poster to a wall and then you can peel the poster back off and it doesn't have any damage on it. doesn't leave any damage on the wall. So it holds nicely to the glass. You can form the sticky stuff um, in between your fingers to kind of give yourself a little bit of a handle. So it's really nice. So all I do, um, if I don't use paint runoff from a pour that I've done, I will just take paint. So today I'm using white and you don't need a lot of paint. And today I'm just gonna kind of layer it. Um, sometimes I'll do side by side. Sometimes I'll even do uh, a technique where you kind of blow and it kind of gives it a nice, like ethereal kind of a look. But today I'm just gonna kind of layer them just to give you a quick idea. And then I will take, I think, sometimes I'll do um, a popsicle stick. Sometimes it's a little too thick though, but either a popsicle stick or I think I'm going to use um, just a, a paintbrush, just an old small paintbrush and just kind of run it through. Make whatever design you want and then take that cabochon again, grab it by the handle of that little sticky stuff and then find a good spot. And when you're doing this, you really don't have a lot of paint. You can make larger areas to determine what the best spot is. But the nice part is, you know, small area and not a lot of paint. Just drop it in just so it go until it goes over just the sides of the glass. You're gonna probably have a little bit of a tail right there and you can just wipe that off right on the tray or the surface. And then what I do is I will run my finger right along that glass and I will clean off that extra paint, wipe it off, because then you still, you'll be cleaning that paint off once they dry and once you're ready to do your jewelry, but right now it'll give me a little bit of room on the sides of the glass to hold it and then I just peel off the sticky stuff and there's your cabochon. Um, so there's, and then you can just drop it on, I, I always put them onto a paper towel and you can just drop it right on. And then the next one, so you can kind of blow in different areas, like I said, to give it a softer feel, um, or you just kind of keep layering, or you can keep making designs. It's whatever works for you. So, you know, there's another design. So if there's actually a few spots in here, and I'm just gonna grab this one, drop it in wipe off a little bit of that tail. And if you find you've got a lot of excess paint right there, just kind of blow it over the edge. It's not gonna, you know, obviously if you blow too hard, um, it won't work, but it should not affect your design at all. So just blow it a little bit off the edge. Again, run your finger along the sides, grab hold, and then peel off the sticky stuff. And chances are that sticky stuff is not gonna be on there very hard. So it's gonna pull off nicely. And then there's your capuchon. Again, drop it off onto your paper towel and we will do one more. Sometimes I like really chunky designs. So let's see if we can make that work. But I would prefer to dip over skins and that's just me personally. It's just this is quicker and just a little bit, uh, you know, one less step of course. So let's see if we can do a chunky one. And my white is actually house paint. I had a bunch of house paint all ready to go, so I thought, why not just use that? So I'm actually gonna wipe off my paintbrush. And I'm just gonna go a little bit. Like I said, I kinda want some chunk in there. I don't know if that's chunky enough, but let's try it. And we're gonna go in this spot, actually. I think I kinda like Kind of like that black, try and extend it a little. There we go. 
and then dip right, right there and hope for the best. And again, just push it down till it covers the sides. Let it drip off for just a second. Get that tail. If there's a little more, blow it over a little bit. Then wipe. Spin with that little handle on that sticky stuff. It's going to be somewhat clean. Grab, peel, done. Drop. And that's it. So hopefully something in the video is helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Leave a question in the comments. And otherwise, have a great day. Thanks, everybody.